Scorpio, this is going to be your timeless love reading for February. So, as you know, all my readings are timeless. Whenever you find this reading, it is for you. Ooh, I forgot to clean your space. Hold on. Oops, normally I pause it. I thought I paused it. I guess I didn't pause it. <laughs> Sorry if that hurt your ears. I have to put a sound disclaimer on this one. Okay. That's just a way for me to clear the energy so that we start out with a clean energy slate. Okay, we're tapping now into the energy of Scorpio's Twin Flame. Ooh, three came out, so ready, flips over, four. Okay, it says you are abundant in all areas of your life. Because love is influencing your decisions, so continue to allow love to influence you. That's beautiful. It's leading you down the right path, and you know, who doesn't like abundance, right? The love you're showing yourself is reflecting back to you in your relationships. Be aware of how you treat yourself. So this is a sign from the universe that the way that you treat yourself is how people are mirroring back to you, how you feel about yourself. So make sure that you are absolutely adoring yourself because people are going to mirror that right back to you, okay? All right, and then it says resentment. I'm trying to keep the glare off my lessons. Resentment or anger is blocking your heart chakra. Forgive and let these feelings go. Listen to 528HZ, which is 528 hertz. A lot of the signs have been getting this lately. It seems like a lot of us are holding on to feelings of resentment, anger. Very easy to clear out. Just focus on um, your heart chakra, okay? And the only way that love can come to us and abundance actually is through the heart chakra. So everything that comes to you, all the good things that will come to you will come to you through the heart chakra. So go ahead and work on that heart chakra. These are the messages spirit wants you to hear so that you can get into union fast, faster. And see, just as I said that, these four cards flipped out together. And so look, I was just talking about your heart chakra. This says your heart chakra is unbalanced. You may be heartbroken or dealing with heartbreak. Use this time to surround yourself with people that uplift you. So see, we were just talking about the heart chakra and there it is. You have an unbalanced heart chakra. So things are going to have trouble getting to you unless you clear that heart chakra. Okay, so those cards are done. <clears throat> Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and leave them out so I can go on to the next ones. We are going to go to... And just so you know, before the month of February, all of my readings are half off because we are in the season of love. So if you would like to book your reading, my prices are always in the description box below. All you have to do is email me or contact me on Instagram. I'm feeling very yellow. I've been wearing yellow for the past two days. All right, let's do the love oracle for Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Spirit guides. Thank you for allowing me to be the clear channel for Scorpio. What do they need to know about their twin soul journey? Ooh, that one flew out. So let's take three of these. I don't know what it is yet because it hit the floor. I'm going to have to get it. That one hit the floor too. Ooh, got some nice energy. There's the last one. One second. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, okay, so some of you, who the way these cards are placed, we have ex-lover, we have player, and we have a spiritual awakening. So some of you, it was literally um, an ex-lover who was completely dishonest with you. I mean, I have two storylines coming out. 
So for some of you, it was literally an ex-lover who was a player. They completely were dishonest with you and said a lot of manipulative things. Excuse me. And that is what spurred part of your spiritual awakening. It was the beginning stages. For some of you, you have an ex-lover who they might give off an aura of like a player, but I don't think that they are. I think that that is just their mask, their fake persona that they portray so that people don't get close to them. So some of you, the, your twin soul has this persona and you will know because you will feel it. Now, I don't want you to get entangled in this energy of someone who might not be good for you because you know you're like oh well chakra bunny tarot told me my person might be a player but they're really not a player you're gonna have to use your own intuition this is just a storyline that i'm definitely picking up on but only you will know if your person is honest with you or if they're not honest with you you will feel it okay most divine feminines have really really strong intuition so you will absolutely know if you know this is resonating with you or not okay but i don't want you to use that as an excuse to sit there and stick with someone who is not treating you right or not treating you well because that is ex this is that is exactly what i'm not condoning if someone is treating you very badly then i don't care if they're your twin flame or not then you need to cut that person out of your life because that is not how um someone who values themselves is going to um, allow someone to treat them okay but you know if you're treating yourself well then you shouldn't be having any of these issues okay so for some of you you know there's two different stories for some of you as an ex-lover who was a player which spurred your spiritual awakening because I feel like the heartbreak was really 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 bad so take it how it resonates um, and you're on the bottom of the deck your person is watching you on social media Scorpio they cannot help it. All right, let's do the Romance Angels next, and then we'll do the Tarot. We're going to end with the Rumi Oracle. All right, what do we got for Scorpio, please? Can we get three cards for Scorpio? We're going to do four from the Tarot Spirit and one from the Rumi. Shuffle one more time. Okay. Three for Scorpio, please. Whoa. All right. A lot of the signs are getting this card as well. It says let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. I feel like for you, though, Scorpio, you may be getting out of that type of energy because... I am seeing like a ghost of like an outline, like a ghost. I'm very drawn to like the ghost um, outline on this card of the angels. I feel like it's because they're saying like, I've never really been drawn to that before. So I feel like it's saying to you like it's a ghost of your former self. Maybe in the past you had control issues, but now I see that you're definitely getting away from those control issues. Okay. We are not going to take all of these. There's, there's too many. One more, please. Stack one more for Scorpio. All right. So we have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture and attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So for some of you, this is Spirit's way of saying it's okay to go ahead and make your move. In these cards, though, um, there is there is a very heavy energy of attraction. So for some of you, this will be your go-to. This will be your confirmation that your person is ready for you to make the first move. If this for if it's for a divine masculine, this is letting you know that your divine feminine is ready for you to make the move. 
Now for you divine feminines, it feels very differently. It feels like focusing on yourself is what is going to bring your person closer into you. It says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. She's taking time to sit there and sniff the flowers, taking time to smell the roses. You ever heard that sign? And because she's focused on her outer moment, the present moment, and experiencing romance alone, then it is making her very, very attractive to the opposite sex. And, you know, your twin flame is no exception. Um, they are going to want to pull you in closer. And as I'm saying that, I'm seeing this, and the Divine Masculine here is definitely pulling her in closer. All right. We are going to do the tarot, the dragon tarot. We're going to do four cards for Scorpio from the dragon tarot. And we're going to end with the roomy oracle. <clears throat> Thank you for allowing me to be the Claire's channel for source message for Scorpio. All right. So we got for Scorpio, please. Give me four cards for Scorpio spirit. I'll just go ahead and back up a little bit from this table so I'm not so close. While I'm sitting, I'm <laughs> crisscross applesauce and doesn't leave me a lot of room to shuffle if I'm really close to the table. When I'm sitting crisscross applesauce, which is how I love to sit, it's comfortable. Okay, oh, two cards came out there. Four of Cups, the Emperor, wow. Great energy. Feels like for you Divine Feminines, your Divine Masculine is for sure ready to create this stable life with you. For sure. The Emperor with the Four of Cups, those are both cards of stability. And it's the Divine Masculine Integrity. It can be a feeling, though, the emperor can be a little bit controlling sometimes. So that could be where the control issues are coming in. The emperor can be a bit um, stoic and controlling. Whoa, okay. we They give us way too many cards. Hold on. So let's see. We have... Oh, Lord. Okay. Um... Let me just look at these cards. Okay, so we have two of wands, um, which can be a decision to be made. So these first two cards came out together. So this is definitely a divine masculine energy. And I don't know who this reading is for, but this, whoever's watching, this is definitely a divine masculine energy. And like I always say, it has nothing to do with gender. It has everything to do with the um, energy that you, um, that you identify most with. Because we both have equal masculine and feminine energies in us. So this is a divine masculine energy that is looking to create stability for himself and also with his divine feminine there's the four of cups it is also the card of marriage although i do see in the card that the divine masculine is being held back by this dragon so your divine masculine may be feeling and i'm talking now to the divine feminines um your divine masculine may be feeling um controlled by something um, whether that is addictive behavior or him trying to curb his strong desires for you and not show them. I mean, if your divine masculine is a Scorpio and you're a cross watcher, we know that Scorpio males tend to try to hide everything. You know, they want to appear more mysterious. They try to shove all those emotions down. Um, they don't like to lay their cards out. Um, on the table so to speak right away because they that's just a Scorpio trait I know I'm a Scorpio rising 
So I definitely struggle with these um, traits as well. Um, the Two of Wands represents um, a decision, um, trying to figure things out. Um, also, it's, you know, hesitating in two forms of energy. It's waiting for something. And I also see this water, which to me means like going with the flow, crossing. Um, I keep hearing the song, you know, like ain't, ain't no river wide enough. So it, it's basically like they're crossing oceans to get to you. You know, there's a mountain right there, like a mountain road, which looks very, very dangerous. And yet, you know, I get this feeling of this divine masculine once he's ready, crossing all of this terrain just to get to you, right? And fairly quickly, we have King of Wands energy right after Two of Wands. You know, they came out like this. So I see, you know, the energy-wise the divine masculine wanting to come forward and make a move very quickly you know the king of wands is sort of it's you know it's fire sign energy it's this energy of like wanting to just jump through all hoops and get to where they need to be um without hesitation they can be a little bit reckless at times because it's very warlike energy as well um almost kind of like the knight of wands but on a, like a stronger energetic level. Again, look this. So if you look at this card, the divine masculine is being controlled. Divine masculine. I would say, say it wrong. The divine masculine, masculine, I almost said it wrong again, is being controlled by this dragon, held back by this dragon. And in this card, the divine masculine is actually controlling the dragon it's almost like the divine masculine has learned to control his own demons and his own dragons and that is the reason he's thinking of coming forward very soon the knight of cups shows me there is an offer of love coming very quickly and again look it's because he's crossing that water there's the water and now he's in the water he's crossing he made the decision to cross that river and there he is knight of cups coming with his cup of love and um allowing himself to sit in the emotions and to feel them Whew. all right so we're gonna go ahead and close with the Rumi oracle i hope that this gave you some insight into your twin flame twin soul journey for you scorpio all right, what is the last thing you want me to leave off for? Scorpio, please. What is the last thing you want them to know <clears throat> about their twin soul journey? And remember, I am a twin soul reader, a twin flame reader. So if you found me, you definitely are a twin flame. Do not doubt that at all. We have the angel Raz Bar. And the, the number is 27. Right off the bat, I feel like you or your person has had lifetimes in the angelic realm. That has also been coming out for a lot of the signs. There's a hair somewhere that's bugging me. If you add two and seven, it's nine. 27. Tell me the truth, I asked love. What are you? I am the everlasting life, love said. I am the reoccurring joy of living. The master speaks of a den of riches where many precious jewels can be found. In abundance they lie, patient and yet ready to be claimed. Go, scoop them up, argues the mash, urges the master. The devoted ones look, but cannot see. Where are these precious jewels, they cry, for we cannot find them anywhere. The master gazes lovingly at the devoted ones and responds kindly in service my beloveds you shall find the jewels through service for what is the soul but the finest and most precious of heavenly jewels what is service but the scooping up of the soul that it does not lie lost nor unclaimed but instead honored for all its precious worth and beauty tended to 
until it becomes vibrant at a flaw, as a flawless ruby, radiant with the joy of living. Divine contribution is offered to those who wish to contribute to the world. The Great Beloved sees what is in your hearts, what it is you wish to offer, and is saying, yes, there is your confirmation that your union is very much on the way, Scorpio. I love you so fiercely. If you decide to book a reading with me, please do. Um, the spots are filling up very quickly, though, so I urge you to go ahead and get your reading in as quickly as you can so I can get you on my waiting list. Um, what else is I going to say? Oh, um, if you do not know how to book a reading with me, all you have to do is click on the description box and my reading prices will pop up. Everything is half off, as I said. All of my goodies are down there, my Etsy shop, everything. All right, I guess that's it. Thank you for all your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions. You guys are amazing. Please hit the thumbs up if you haven't yet because it helps me with the algorithm. I love you, Scorpio. Bye.